the great achievement of Western civilization is the rediscovery from the Greeks of the role of reason in human life and the importance of the individual politically. That's what's led to the, you know, the prosperity we have today. Anybody ever seen a, do you know the graph of, uh, of uh, per capita income or per capita uh, wealth? Ever seen this graph? I'm going to draw it in the air. So, you know, so this is, this is going to be wealth or income per capita, and this is time. So 10,000 years ago, we're going to start 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years ago, people made under $3 a day on average, almost everybody. And this is true for about 10,000 years. I mean, there were periods where it went up a little bit, Rome, and then it went down during the Dark Ages, and then it stayed like this, at $3 a day or under. And then what happened? Suddenly, out of nowhere, it went like that. Like that. And what is that date where it went like that? Anybody know what that date is? Industrialization. Yeah, industrialization. Well, what, what was the date and, and why did industrialization happen? What was the date? We suddenly went like that. When did we start industrializing? 1770? Well, I happen to like 1776. For two reasons. Two reasons. One, because a great book in economics was written. At the time, the first real defense of markets. What was that? Adam Smith, The Wealth of Nations, was published in 1776. But what else happened in 1776? The Declaration of Independence was written. In my view, the most important political document in human history. <coughs> because it is the first political document in human history to recognize the individual's right to his own life. Which means the right for individuals to act on their own behalf in pursuit of their own values, free of intervention, free of force. And as long as you're not violating somebody else's rights, you can exercise, you can pursue your values that you deem necessary for your own life. You have a right to liberty. What's a right to liberty? It's the right to think whatever you want to think. It's the right to speak whatever you want to speak, to write whatever you want to write. It's the first political document to recognize this. Based on the ideas of John Locke, based on the ideas of the Enlightenment, but the Founding Fathers of America put it in writing in a political document and established a country based on this specific principle. No country in human history had this in its founding document. To this day, very few have it. And then finally, every individual has a right, an inalienable right. Inalienable means nobody can take it away from you, not even a majority. To pursue your own happiness. Individualism, your life, your thoughts, your happiness, that's what's important. America was the culmination of the Enlightenment, the political culmination of the Enlightenment. It was finally a political entity established in order to recognize the value of reason and the value of individualism. When we lose free speech, we lose those values, we lose the promise that the Enlightenment provided us. Thank you.